So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about Smash Ultimate's online. So I think it's safe to say that Smash Ultimate overall has been very well received. However, one of the things that has garnered kind of the most controversy since the game's release is the online play and the overall quality of the online experience and the stability of matches. Safe to say it is not very good. Uh, I can count myself among the lucky ones because for me it works fairly consistently. However, I've seen and read about people who cannot even get this shit to work and it is very unfortunate when so much of this, yeah that's my dog in the background, when so much of this game is focused online and there is a huge online community. It's really unfortunate that the online play is so unstable. However, things can be done to improve the online experience from what I found. <clears throat> and sorry, you do have to excuse my voice throughout this video. I am coming down with a bit of a cold. But yeah, these are going to be kind of four tips that you can do in-game and out-of-game and kind of hopefully improve your online experience in Smash Ultimate. Overall, some of these are guaranteed to work and some of them are anecdotal from what worked for me and what generally works for people, like things I read on Reddit posts and YouTube videos and all that. Alright, the first tip we're gonna talk about is how to have a better online experience in-game and how to pick the specific game modes you want to play. So basically, the thing about the preferred settings in Smash Ultimate's online is that it is exactly what it says it is. Uh, it's a preferred mode. So it's not going to pick only that type of game mode you want, for example if you want 1v1s, it's just going to mainly search for that, and if it finds it, it will put you into it, if not it will put you into a 4v4 or something like that. And that can be very frustrating, especially for, you know, sort of pros who might just want to do a one-on-one, -on -one, and people like me who are trying to get better and find 4v4 way too chaotic. Basically, the thing that works for me on this mode is the game seems to lock you in once you go into a certain mode. So if you have preferred settings on to 1v1 and it happens to match you into a 1v1 match the first time around, it'll keep finding you 1v1 matches after that. If it puts you in a 4v4, it's gonna continue searching for 4v4s after that. So the best tip I found is keep quitting uh, the kind of, you know, practice screen versus the CPU until you get put into a 1v1 match versus someone. Most likely, and again, this is anecdotal, most likely it's gonna keep putting you into 1v1 matches after that. It is the most consistent way I've found to play the game mode that you exactly wanna play. Alright, tip number two, we're getting into the territory of how to improve connections. First things first, obviously none of these tips are gonna help if somebody else in the game is lagging. This is just gonna kind of ensure that if there is lag, it is most likely not coming from you. So the first thing to do uh, is on the Switch itself. The Switch seems to have a weird sort of architecture uh, and the internet settings are not optimized as well as they could be. So if you go into your system settings, into your internet settings, you can select your preferred network, change settings and all that and there is a little box that says something like MTU option. By default this is set to 1400 but what you want to do is change it and set it to 1500 which is actually the maximum you can set it to. Now this is probably for me the biggest improvement that I've found for my Switch online experience and with Smash Ultimate as well. Essentially this for me over doubled my internet connection speeds on the Switch. And again, this is the most consistent and best method I've found. The third thing that we're going to cover, and again, this is more anecdotal kind of evidence. I'm not 100% that this is actually a thing, but it did work for me, so it might work for you. And that tip is to not play with the little controllers attached to the Switch. Apparently those controllers work via Bluetooth. And according to a lot of people, the Bluetooth interferes with the Wi-Fi signal or the receiver. Again, I don't know if this is true or not, however, I have noticed that generally my online games do seem to be more stable when I play either with my Pro Controller and with my Switch docked, or if I play with the controllers away from the Switch itself. So again, if you're playing Smash and you want the best possible experience, I know this is not always possible with you know, how portable and all that the Switch is. However, for the best stable online experience, this is another little trick that could help. And finally, the fourth thing you can do to improve your connection in Smash Ultimate 
is very simple. It is to place your switch as close to your router as possible. Now, again, this is a thing that is guaranteed to work, uh, sure as hell. Unfortunately, the way where I am, where my gaming setup is, it's pretty far away from my router, but I have noticed that if I take it out into the living room, the connections improve drastically, even with the controllers on the side. And again, the closer you put it to your router, the faster it's gonna be. Another option for this, of course, uh, people who have very strong routers uh, do say that this is less of a problem for them. Uh, however, if you don't, again, just trying to move as close to the router as possible seems to help drastically. Like, it can double or triple your internet speeds on the Switch. Again, might not be possible for you. Unfortunately, it's not possible for me, but the closer you can get it, the better it is. So these are just four little tips I covered which will hopefully improve your overall Smash online experience. Again, the game is really fun and I'm hoping that the overall stability of online will be patched. Again, none of these tips account for if another player has a bad connection or unstable connection because then it's going to be a mess. However, again, like I said at the beginning, at least you're guaranteeing that when there is lag, it is probably not coming from you. And overall, I have had very good online matches uh, compared to how many... Uh, complaints I've seen and how many people are kind of pissed about the state of online but what can you do again try these tips also I'm gonna go ahead and leave my little friend code uh, at the end of this video and probably in the description as well if you want to add me we can play smash we can play <coughs> Fortnite yeah I had to make that noise before saying Fortnite because I know some people get pissed off when they even hear that word but whatever also, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and let me know if these tips work or if whether there are any other tips you can think of or you know that can improve the online on the Switch. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you next time. Goodbye.